Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I am moving towards the awesome side of the scale. And I'm recognizing that for this particular vlog, growing your YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers, I'm soon going to have to come up with a different name because we're past the 100,000 subscribers. Today, got some really interesting statistics and observations brought to you by the good folks at KISS Metrics. Well, it finally happened. Last week, I received notice in my uh, creator studio that YouTube has invited me to get my silver play button because I've hit 100,000 subscribers. So I filled out the information and they are now in process of sending me a silver play button. Woohoo, we made it. I'm quite excited about that. That's gonna be a little bit of awesomeness. Now, the same day actually that I received that notification, I was browsing the interwebs and I found this post from the folks at Kiss Metrics, and it is it's it's co-authored, I guess, by uh, our friends at Viduli, which is a terrific analytics company for YouTube management, and it's called Five Noteworthy Ways to Increase Engagement on YouTube. And as I read through it, it brought so much into focus for me uh, that I thought this is something that I want to share with you. And I don't want to just share it with you by sending you an email and letting you know about it, but instead I kind of want to walk through some of the different things that they observe in it. And there are some things that we can do a lot about, and some things we can't do very much about at all. <laughs> I bring up an interesting point, that the average attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds, and the average attention spans of humans, as of now, is about 8.2. To five seconds. So I've already gotten way beyond your average attention span if you're still with this video. But the bottom line is we're falling behind goldfish as far as our as far as our ability to concentrate. And what this means is for YouTube content creators, it puts that much more pressure and that much more responsibility on us to create engaging content that retains viewers because that is so important for success on YouTube. Now the average watch time of video now on online is 2.7 minutes. So you can use that as a baseline to work from. If you're not engaging, if, if of course, if your videos are have to be longer than 2.7 minutes, but if you've got videos of any length and you're not retaining your audience for 2.7 minutes, you're already falling behind the curve. And you know YouTube is going to charge us harshly for that and not look at our video as being valuable. So be paying such close attention to what happens at the top end of your video. Your engaging opening, not having too long a graphic, making sure that you identify clearly what the video is about to your audience and making it interesting. All of those things come into play and come into focus when we look at this. If you drop beneath that threshold, I think that you've got a lot of work to do. And even those that are above that threshold constantly have to pay attention to increasing not just our length of engagement, but our percentage of engagement on the video. So a good point there. I didn't realize it was 2.7 minutes. That's a good thing to see. So retention and watch. The video lengths under a minute, 80% people stay. So if they know it's short, they will stay. 60% uh, retention is in the two to three minute video and five to 10 minute videos have 50% retention. So 50% of the viewers drop off halfway. And I have to tell you, that's my experience. Most of my videos, as this one here will be, are over five minutes, usually around the seven to eight minute mark. And typically speaking, I see in those videos, 50% to maybe 60%, the better ones, 60%. If I'm over 60%, I'm thrilled. If I'm under 50%, I'm quite concerned that I didn't pack enough information into the very beginning or maybe the topic isn't as good uh, but that's those again something that you have to basically do a lot of self-evaluation looking at your YouTube analytics to determine where, where you fall on that spectrum the longer the video drags on as they say the lower its retention however the good news is that the average YouTube sessions uh, YouTube session has increased the average video watch time per day is 39 minutes. So more people are watching YouTube more often and they're watching 39 minutes of video every day online. I don't think that's just YouTube video, I think that's online video, but that's a very compelling and encouraging statistic for you and I who create online video. People are coming to the online space in order to in order to consume video. We knew that intuitively, but it's good to see the statistics uh, are, are continuing. Where are they watching? Well, it depends on what your market is. But if you're a millennial, if you're delivering your content to millennials, 
uh, they're really consuming a huge percentage of video on their smartphones, which, uh, which speaks to our formatting and, and also length and all of those other things. Uh, computers, tablets, very low percentage. But a lot of people are also engaging in video on television, watching YouTube and, and other online video through their uh, players, like, the, uh, like Apple TV and that sort of stuff, which is pretty darn interesting. Of course, that the whole, uh, the whole growth of mobile is fascinating. But here was the statistic that absolutely blew me away. I always thought vertical videos were evil, as they say right here. But it turns out that they're not. Completed views of vertical video ads on smartphones are nine times higher than horizontal video ads, meaning that people, when they're holding their phones and consuming video, they're holding them this way, they're holding them upright. And if you want to create video that you know a large percentage of people are watching on a smartphone, it's, I can't believe I'm saying this, it's worth considering vertical format. I'm not gonna do it, but you can certainly consider it and it is Definitely food for thought. This is the one statistic in this study that just made me go, I just, uh, it, it absolutely blew me away. Nine times more uh, retention uh, than horizontal video ads, than, than horizontal. That is just, just, just amazing. Peak hours are weekdays. Um, you know, the, the, the time that people watch your video and, and consume it is important, I guess. It's certainly more important, I think, to people who are playing in the Facebook space as to when they post, when they're gonna be above the fold and when they're gonna be promoted the most in the newsfeed. And, and of course, as, as Facebook changes their algorithms, uh, that, that's an increasing challenge and a moving target. Uh, but so that statistic doesn't, doesn't mean as, as much to me. But here, this is where the rubber meets the road for you and for I, for YouTube content creators. Why do people watch videos on YouTube specifically? Inspiration and entertainment, 53%. Learning, knowing instructions, and deciding what to buy is the preponderance of video that people are using. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is the became, becoming the, the nature of YouTube video. When we consider the difference between YouTube and all of the other video forms online, the one difference YouTube has is intent. When people come to watch a video on YouTube, it's their intention to consume that video. It's not an accidental view, like it happened to just scroll by and catch their attention. No, they've come, they've searched, they've looked, and they want to consume the content. This is a tremendous opportunity, and this is why, despite all of these de doom and gloom uh, people saying that Facebook video is going to be dominating YouTube video in a period of time, it might be true, but right now, Facebook video is accidental video. It just scrolls through, you happen to see something interesting. YouTube video is intentional. The value of an intentional communication is light years ahead of the value of an accidental communication. Accidental will slowly build your brand, will slowly build your community and create opportunity. Intentional has the opportunity to create success right now. People watch your video to learn from you. When you do a call to action in that video, the chances of them engaging at to the next level with you are, 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 well, they have to be an order of magnitude greater than in the accidental side. So this to me is the most compelling statistic of all. Then they get into talking about video and email, which I'm not going to waste time on today because I want to keep this video <laughs> reasonably short, uh, but it's certainly food for thought for the future. So that's uh, today I'm, I'm going to put a link to this blog in our blog and in the description below because I think you're going to want to read through it and certainly send some props to the folks at Viduli and Kissmetrics and thank them for it because it is a, it is a great piece of uh, it's a great piece of background information for us YouTube content creators. And that's all the time that I have for today. Now there's three ways for you to stay in touch with me here at Dottotech. The first is please of course subscribe to this channel and while you're at it a like or a share wouldn't kill you. The second thing that I would love you for you to do is sign up for our newsletter. That way you hear about our upcoming events and tutorials. And finally, Dottotech is a community funded channel supported through the generosity of you through the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our page, take a look and discover what we do with the cash that you give us and the perks that are sent your way from us here on Dottotech. We appreciate that very much. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. Thank you.